and welcome back to the Nasty Metal production channel here at YouTube and welcome to the very first fanzine review episode which uh, I'm probably gonna make a series out of this uh, though I don't know if I'm gonna do it with uh, have it every single week but uh, of here and there when somebody wants me to review a fanzine I will be able to and what I got here for today is again was uh, at the request of well, as you can tell from the T-shirt, was for, of course Paul of Soul Grinder Zine. It is he, of course. Uh, I, I had received this uh, magazine at least or fanzine actually, even though it's a, a very well-made uh, fanzine. And oh, God, uh, I can't wait to at least show this here in front of the camera. But my God, there the he had sent this. Uh, um, he had sent this out at least. Uh, back in December, and uh, this would have been uh, about by the time it at least had been released, because it was at least around December 24th, I guess. Uh, I'm just going that uh, going on a limb and saying that, and guessing. But uh, he had, and finally, uh, again, the reason he wanted to send it out was because he wanted me to review this, uh, and uh, definitely I couldn't pass that up. And I almost wanted to do a uh, at least a a uh, unearthed mail episode on this one. But I decided not to, and instead just wait to at least show this uh, for a possible video review. And here it is. It is issue number seven of Soul Grinder Zine, and uh, wow, this is a gr uh, very cool uh, fan zine. And you can tell it's big. It's almost uh, close enough to being a very well-made magazine because this is just fantastic. But it's a fan zine, and uh, just uh, plenty of great interviews and reviews. And so on. Oh, it is it, it it is absolutely great. So let's take take a look inside of here because of uh, for this review, I'm gonna be lo looking through a list some of this. And again, it's also it can be seen as promotion uh, to maybe see if you guys might be interested in getting m uh, one of these. Cause it's, it's fantastic. I mean, yeah, some of it is explicit, but at the same time, the work that is put into this is well, what counts. My God, let's uh, take a look inside of here. Uh, Here's our first page we got here, which is actually titled The Growl, which is a death metal documentary. So it's a little preview for, for that, which is apparently going to feature uh, interviews from uh, plenty of bands. And the thing is, that at, uh, from here I can read into this. Uh, the Growl d delves into the history of a vocal style that pioneered the most brutal and heaviest genre of music that has been both criticized and praised by fans and critics alike, known as death metal. And so, so the bands that, uh, that uh, are being interviewed for this uh, documentary, which is apparently uh, is going to be seen uh, or coming soon uh, from uh, Rabid Dog Films, but apparently it's also going to be promoted by Banger Films and Lockhorns, again, uh, Banger Films on YouTube. Um, but uh, we got it, it will feature interviews from uh, members of like Morbid Angel, uh, Necrot, Possessed, uh, one of the considered one of the first death metal bands to begin with, uh, Incantation, uh, Immolation, Cannibal Corpse, being one of the uh, uh, up there like with uh, Morbid Angel and uh, Incantation and Possessed is definitely uh, one of the most pioneering and at times considered one of the most influential death metal bands. Uh, Chris Barnes, I mean, or um, George Fisher. Uh, again, uh, other bands here exhume Venom Inc. Because again, uh, probably because of since some of the members in Venom, Venom Inc. being of Venom were one of the biggest influences on that genre. Anyways, uh, just, just go back like uh, Welcome to Hell and Black Metal and some of those albums. Uh, of course, they got Morbid Saint, which is probably more of the obscure band on here. But it's a uh, 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 though I, I uh, totally agree. Spectrum of Death is uh, definitely at times pushes it to being almost death metal. It's a great album. Uh, we also have like Mortician, great the uh, was a cattle decapitation. Um, what is this one here? Uh, Unleashed. I think they're a, a Swedish band. We also even have other interviews from like, of course, a Massacre, Nuclear Assault. Uh, funny enough, and Master, Celtic Frost, uh, uh, Pentagram from Chile, Grave. Just uh, uh, just to at least name as plenty of uh, here that uh, strike out at me. So. That uh, definitely seems to be be very cool, and if it ever g gets released, I definitely am very interested in checking that out. So, 
Uh, that's your uh, first head here for this fanzine, which is The Growl, a death metal documentary. So we have, our, of course, our editorial page. There's plenty of great, uh, which will give you uh, what pages to look for and or so on. Layout. So uh, all great here. Uh, we got also an ad for uh, the last Sacred Reich album, which is Awakening, which I never got around to listening to. Because it's uh, actually Sacred Reich is one of the few bands I haven't even delved much into besides uh, hearing a bit of Surf Nicaragua and uh, maybe some stuff off of uh, Ignorance, but uh, still we got a ad for that. We now have some uh, interviews with uh, bands like, uh, what is it, uh, Lectern here. Got some interviews there, which I believe is from an uh, interview by uh, Paul of Soul, Soul Grinder. Got plenty of cool uh, stuff over here. All cool there. Let's uh, move on. Got another ad for like Riddick Art. Or was it? No, was it? Uh, yeah, called Riddick Art. Uh, death Metal Artwork. Very cool. Let's do another ad. We now finally get, get into another interview here with... Um, Oh god, uh, what is it, uh, uh, trying to, uh, finally, uh, lo uh, Luna and Sungrium, god damn it, uh, Sungrium, I don't know, I butchered a bit of that, but there you go, there's that there, interview with one of the members there, all cool stuff there, let's definitely move on to some of this, so I can move this forward, I want the, I don't want this to be a 20 minute long, uh, review, got another, this sort of, a, a, uh, ad here, um, right here, which is uh, Tales from uh, uh, the Black Circle. Interesting there. Another sort of cool artwork also here, too. Move this around to uh, uh, some more cool artwork here. Fantastic. Uh, we now have an interview with the thrash metal band Cruel Bomb, which I believe is on one of the other uh, Soul Grinder Zine uh, compilation albums. And uh, that, that's a very cool interview too. I really liked uh, for what, what I read through through uh, some of this. I really liked what I heard. Uh, you know, talking about their uh, two EPs and maybe uh, upcoming uh, EP as well. So all very cool there. There's some more, uh, more, more cool art there too. Nice. Um, Oh yeah, here we go. We got also a little uh, slight comic here too, uh, which is entitled "Mama, I'm Coming Home." <laughs> Though no, no relation to the Ozzy Osbourne song. No relation, but it seems pretty cool uh, artwork and all that. It's all top notch here. More f from this uh, little small comic there, and I've got another ad here too for uh, Metal Beer Bullshit. So, uh, there seems to be some, uh, releases there. That looks really cool, too. Let's definitely move this on forward. We got then an interview with, uh, the female black thrash metal band called Ritual Moon. So, very cool there, too. And that was also pretty, I also liked them, uh, right, read through some of this. So, there was some cool stuff here in that, re uh, interview. Uh, what was another one? We got also some, another cool ad here for something. For, um, some of this stuff, uh, uh, when it comes to a lot of these extreme metal bands, some uh, some of the, the the writing font can be a little difficult to read sometimes, but still very cool nonetheless. That was uh, another cool art little art piece there too. Nice. Got another. Here we got a uh, interview for the band uh, with one of the band members here of uh, Encryptment, another underground uh, metal band. That looks. Uh, Cool too. Another cool interview as well. Just all great, great, uh, great stuff here. Uh, another uh, ah yeah, here we go. Another ad for this, uh, which is uh, what is it titled? Ah, I can't actually spell too much about that, but uh, you'll know what that at least reads. And we got here a interview with one of the band members for Fatal Agent, which is another great thrash metal band. They're also were featured in one of the other. Um, uh, Soul Grinder Zine uh, compilation albums, which I've got on CD. Uh, very cool. And this was a cool interview, too. I really liked it. I've read, uh, read in that. Here we got an ad for, of course, uh, the Chinese metal label uh, called Awakening Records, which uh, is cool, cool ad for a lot of other releases there, too. So, uh, trying to best to 
do there. Oh, great. Just great stuff there. Got more interviews here with, uh... Uh, yeah. Just uh, some, uh, some great stuff here. Got more, uh, just more, uh, ads. I'm just gonna bump here a bit, because I'm giving you... Uh, you're getting the good idea what you're getting here. Got more ad for, like, what a... Uh, what is this? Uh, yeah. Video Massacre. Cool there. So let's definitely move on. Got some more... Getting to the end. We got more great, great, uh, interviews here with the uh, Horrendous, which I've actually known about for years. I actually know a guy... Who is at least friends with them, or might be? I can't remember. Still great. Um, oh yeah, got a uh, little ad for Midnight Priest. That that seems pretty cool too. Um, oh yeah, another in interview here with the uh, uh, very very interesting guy there, uh, Bill Z. Bubba. Very interesting dude. He does some like uh, fan made horror movies and other stuff, and he's a big metal head. Great, great, uh, uh, cool guy. Finally, we have a, a uh, interview here with John Zazula, uh, the mastermind behind Megaforce Records. And this was a funny guy. This was a fun interview. I really loved li listening to this one. There's a pretty cool fucking uh, part in this interview. Again, we can uh, get a nice uh, little photo there. All great, which I think you can see uh, John Zazula with, uh, oh, goddamn, uh, Lars Ulrich and uh, Scott Ian. And Scott Ian also sporting, uh, at least sporting a nice Motorhead shirt. Great stuff there. But there's a cool fucking part of, uh, that just made me laugh. That just made me laugh. And it's about the, that time when he was working with Ministry. And I think it was, uh, they were, uh, trap. I think to, he was traveling to, um, stay at a particular hotel, I believe in Florida. And the thing is, this, uh, uh hotel here apparently had ducks. They were just apparently he and the way some of the 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 stuff he was just using. Let me try and find this uh, part of it. I don't want to make this too long, but this goddamn made me laugh so fucking much. Here we go. Uh, this part is apparently called the uh, the Peabody Hotel in Florida, and apparently again uh, they had these ducks who just come out marching. Uh, again, the, apparently for uh, what his experience with this hotel is, they keep the ducks in the hotel at five o'clock. Uh, again, uh, the ducks just come marching out of the lobby. Uh, in the lobby, there is a giant brass duck. Uh, and, of course, uh, Al of uh, Ministry just fell in love with the duck. Uh, he picked it up in the middle of the fountain and carried it to his room. And, apparently, it led to, to a bit, bit of a panic because the, the people who run uh, the hotel were wondering where, where the hell the duck was. Well, apparently, the again, uh, they found out it was the guy of Ministry that had the duck. And so uh, they, he had to let it. Uh, he had to uh, let them know he had it. Funny, funny, goddamn story. But goddamn, uh, when it comes to, of course, from uh, one of the uh, one of the most influential uh, minds in uh, the that, that sort of American metal scene back in the 1980s. Again, uh, when it came to a sort of like again, uh, Megaforce Records out of uh, San Francisco. That whole fucking scene. Again, uh, gi giving us great bands like again Overkill and Anthrax and early Metallica and Manowar and even pressing the f uh, the first American pressing here in the states of uh, Melissa from Merciful Fate. Uh, just a, a cool, just a, a all around worthy of uh, getting an interview. Anyways, of course, uh, do I have to definitely mention R.I.P. John John Zazula's wife. Uh, just a cool, cool, cool interview. So let's have you move on to some of this. Uh, I mean, there's just so many great things in here. We even have an interview with uh, Michael, uh, what was it? Uh, Michael Alago, who's like actually the guy that produced the very first Metallica album, uh, Kill 'Em All. Has done also other albums like Snow White and some of those bands. So we got that there. Cool. Uh, that, uh, very no uh, other interesting one. Of course, uh, it, it, of course, uh, the the choosing of placing his interview after John Zazula's just ends up. Uh, I think it uh, was a cool coincidence, and I think it was a cool way of doing that, because again, uh, Kill 'Em All being tied to Megaforce Records anyways. It's all great stuff inside this fanzine. Again, little reviews here for other small releases and other albums. Got plenty of great stuff. I'm just trying to now sit through some of this. I said I wasn't going to make it 20 minutes, but it turned out I was going to. Just all great stuff in here. Just all great uh Great stuff in here. Trying now uh, again more more reviews and uh, got here for like coming soon. 
right there. God damn, we do we got so many cool things inside this. So it's just a and here we got small another little comic book which is titled uh, the Vinyl Killer. It's back. I guess so. It was just a continuation comic book. I guess for most the Soul Grinder zine uh, fanzines. So another cool one, another little cool interesting comic book. Violent, crude, lewd, but you know, can't have it any other way. But great stuff here. More ads. More ads and so on. God damn, this is so cool. Great stuff. I'm trying not to. Uh, uh, what is this one here? Oh yeah, we got another one for Pune uh, Bestial Soldiers. God damn, there's some cool stuff here. I'm gonna find where we're close to the end. Ah, here we go. Finally, we got an ad for Doomsday's Today Records. There you go. All fucking nice here. Another cool art piece. There you go. Again, Soul Grinder Zine since 2012. Long live printed zines. And I can at least agree to that. There you go. There's the final page. There you go. This is a cool fanzine. Great put put together. This is this is what a fanzine is. If you want to grab yourself a copy, I'm going to leave you a link to, of course, uh, the Soul Grinder Zine Facebook page where he's got this stuff listed for, for purchasing. So if you want to get, get yourself a hands, uh, get your hands on one of these, go ahead and, and support the, this guy. It's a great fan scene. So there you go. A little longer review, but you know what? It's cool. This was a, a very cool sit down anyway. So with that, I hope all of you enjoyed uh, this for Thrash. I say I'm out. And I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone. And thank you for sending this out my way there, Paul. Thank you. Take care.